Okay, we'll start with having a look at the panel. So, right now we can see that the red light's are on, and uh, that's switch three that we talked about before. And back up a little bit, you can see that the whole panel is here. Okay, let's go and find out why number three, what well, block nine, which is this red light, why block nine is on. Okay, as we come down the far end of the train room, there's signal 4 right A, it's red, and if we look a little bit further along, now we can see why block 9 is turned on. There's a train sitting on the block. And uh, yeah, he's sitting on there. So what we'll do is, we'll back him up off of block 9, and then we'll see the light change. Okay, now I have control of the train with my wireless throttle. And we'll back it up. And there he goes, going back across the bridge. We come over the bridge here, there's the farmhouse. Um, you'll see another signal up here, that's signal 8 right. Um, when he goes past that, he will be now he is clear of block number 9. Block number 9 starts at that signal. So we'll let him sit there for a moment and then we'll go and look at the panel. And here we are back at the panel and indeed block 9, which is right next to that number 3 there, the light is dark now or off. And now we can clear signal 4. Now how do we get signal 4 to clear, you might ask. Well, we have to tell the system that we want to do that. So down here we've got the lever for number four. Presently it's straight up and red. That means that it's at um, all stop. If we want to give the right one, we push the lever to the right. It clicks over. Nothing happens yet. In order for something to happen, we have to send the code to the system. And these little buttons down here along the bottom, they send the code. So I'll back up a little bit. And you should be able to see, just right in the far right there, there's a couple of code line lamps. When I press the button, the control light is going to come on. And then after a delay, the indication light will come on, saying that the system has done what I asked. So let's just see if that happens. Make the request. Control comes on. Indication. Request granted. Pretty simple. Once more we're back in the field and we come around to signal 4 right and it is indeed green. Now what other things can happen here? Well let's find out. So here we have a locomotive and a caboose and he wants to go this way. So we've given him the green light so he can go. When he goes, when he goes past the green light we'll see the green light change to red. And the reason why it's red, if we go back to original, our original um, discussion, the, the light goes red when there's somebody on block 9 and uh, we've just put a train on block 9 so it goes red. Now let's see what happens at the panel end. So here we are back at the panel end. Four right is cleared. Look up there. The block's clear. I did move the train back in the intervening time. So if that could sorry if that's confusing, but I did move the train back. Now over here we've got our control and indication lamps. Now when a train moves on to that circuit, you'll see the indication light comes on, then you'll see the block light come on. So let's go and have a look at that comes the train. I don't know if we can capture all this, but we'll certainly try. There's the indication now, and there's the light. And one more thing, if we come back down again, notice that the four signal R has gone to red now. Also notice that switch three has got a red light on it. That means that we can't change the position of switch three. 
I'll go back and show you switch three on the in the field. So here's switch three in the field. In the moment it's going straight along, which is this track. And of course that's the way that we just drove with our train. Um, there is another way that switch three can run, and if it changes over direction, it can run down this little side line here and this little sideline goes into the switching area for industries and this little guy here this is signal for right B this is the B unit and over there's the A unit okay so what I might try and capture now is this um, turn at number three changing position but it does happen very quickly um, what I might do is set it up to record and then I'll go down and press the buttons on the panel just give me a moment okay I found something I found something to prop the phone up with and it looks like a good shot of number three so there will be a bit delay as I walk down and uh, throw the levers so you would have seen uh, number three change over and now I can show you what happens from the panel side. Okay, so now we're back at the panel again. Now looking at number three, I've put it into the normal position, which the N stands for. And the normal position will be, if I trace my finger, the normal position takes us straight across. So we go straight through. We saw that when we looked at the switch before. And in the reverse position, it goes down this way which we saw was the little signal and the big signal for our the B unit and the A unit. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to change that number three. We want to put it to our reverse position. So, how do we do that? Again, we move the lever to point to what we want and we have to press the code button to make that request. So as I back up a little bit, I'll press the button, you'll see the control light come on, you'll then see the normal light extinguish, then there'll be a delay for the turnout to change position, then you'll see the indication lamp come on, and then we'll see the reverse light, which is the yellow one, we'll see that turn on. So let's see if that all happens. Control, indication light goes out. After a brief delay, Indication, a presto, number three is now reverse. And that's what happens on the panel.